Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get Google Maps API key in 2024. So today we're exploring how to obtain a Google Maps API key, which allows you to integrate Google Maps into your websites and applications. Of course, whether you are building location-based services, navigation apps, or simply display and map, the Google Map API key is essential. So in this tutorial, we'll show you the guide or the process or the steps on how to get in your own API key. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and sign in into your Google Cloud Console. So to do so, open whatever browser you're using. For me here, I'm using Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. Once you open it, go to this URL section, then simply type Google Cloud console as an example and hit the enter button once you do so of course not cloud cloud once you do so you'll find yourself here click on the first link which is cancel.cloud.google.com and that should take you right away here of course by any chance if you don't have a google account make sure to go and create an account as example so as we said so google cloud console as an example, I'll just show you how it's gonna look for you if it's your first time. As an example, they will show you something like that. So make sure to go and create an account. If you don't have an account, make sure to go and create it, fill up those information as an example, and keep filling up all the information that you need that is as an example. So for me, I'll just show you here and click on next. And of course, choose the email that you want or get a Gmail instead. And of course, you'll be able to go and create an account very easily. Once you do so, you'll be able to find yourself here. So of course you can start your free trial with 300 in credits and don't worry, you'll be charged if you run out of credit, don't worry. And as you can see, you're working on your first project. So you on this quick access, as you can see, you'll find API and services, IM admins, billing, a lot of things. For us, we want API. So I'll just go here and click on APIs and services. Once I do so, I'll find here a lot of things. So what should we look for exactly? As you can see, we have BigQuery, BigQuery migration, cloud uh, data store, cloud login, cloud SQL, cloud storage, uh, cloud trace, uh, Google Cloud API, a lot of things. So if we go here and even click on en enable APIs and services, as you can see, for maps, we'll find some things here, some APIs. So of course, we can simply just type as example, Google Maps and hit the enter button to look for just uh, the API keys that will get us to Google Maps. As you can see, there is a lot of API for Google Maps. So you'll have to look for the one that suits your needs. How can you know that? Simply click on whatever you want. As an example, let's say this one, Maps Data Sets API. Use your own geospatial data with Google Maps platform API. And as you can see here, you'll be able to see the overview, terms of service, uh, documentation of it, rel related products if you want to. And of course, if you see if or if you think that it suits your needs, you can click on enable and use it. But if you don't, as example, you don't want it. As example, maybe uh, I don't want that. Maybe I want uh, Maps SDK for Android. As an example, you'll be able to add maps based on Google Maps data to your Android application. For example, if you want that, let's say I want that, I'll just go and click on that and click on enable. So once I click on enable, let me just wait for this until it loads. It should not take a lot of time. So let me just wait in here. And yeah, as you can see, it's loading a new page now. Once I click on enable, and as you can see here, I'll have to choose the country. Then of course, by using this application, you agree to terms of service and etc. Make sure to read them out, then click on agree and continue. Once you do so, as you can see, no charge to try maps and verify it, your card to get started and you'll be able, able, be able to start building right away. So as you can see here, click on start for free. And oh, uh, like here I have transaction was declined because like I'm blocking my card, so nothing will happen. But for you, just click on start for free. Then they will give you an option where you'll be able to get your API key. You basically have to click on a copy to copy the API key that they give you. And of course, once uh, not copy, you'll have to create your API credentials. You'll find a button 
create API key or credential, click on that, and then you'll be able to use. Of course, for security purposes, you may want to restrict your API key to prevent unauthorized usage. You can like restrict your API key by specifying HTTP uh, refers or IP addresses or Android slash iOS app restrictions and the API restriction sections. And you can use your API key by simply copying it and inserting it whenever, wherever you want with either it's a website or application or whatever, wherever you want. So there you have it. You successfully obtained your Google map API key with API key. Of course, you can now integrate Google maps into your projects and build a powerful like location-based services. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.